YouTube channel today I am doing another styling video and I thought I would pick out a trend at the moment I was thinking of doing spring trends and like just talking through like spring outfit ideas and like key pieces for your wardrobe but then I looked outside and it's snowing so I decided to kind of put that one off um, for maybe like next week or the week after depending on when the snow goes and it might actually be useful because who wants to hear about spring trends when it's snowing outside am I right so I thought I would pick out a trend that's really popular at the moment which or like an item which to me is white boots and I just got a new pair of white boots so I myself am navigating the field of how to wear them so I thought it'd be really fun to kind of pick out like five or six different ways to wear them and talk you, through, you guys through them um, and yeah just hopefully give you some inspiration and also I'm going to do a coordinating blog post with like my favourite white boot um, like my favourite white boots on the high street and in high end depending on your budget and also some like inspiration of how I've seen other people wearing them from Pinterest good old Pinterest so before you, I get into it if you haven't already I would love for you to subscribe to my channel I do two videos a week one is like a general video on a Sunday and then on a Thursday which is today I do like a styling type video whether it's a product a trend or like an occasion or just like styling some outfits for just general what I'm liking at the moment so yeah if there's anything you want to style or anything you love or just anything you want to see then just let me know and I will do that so I only actually have one pair of boots and I didn't actually purchase them I was kindly sent them by public desire I think I put them in my latest haul so I'll link that here or here if you want to see that um, and it was a surprise gift the lady said she saw them and she thought I'd like them and she was right because I'd literally just done a blog post like 24 hours before so she kind of seen it um, saying that I really wanted a pair of white boots and I'd seen them at fashion week and just thought they were like the next big thing and so she pretty much she knew what I wanted before I knew what I wanted um, but yeah so these are the pair of boots in question and these are from Public Desire I think they're £30 um, so super affordable and if you're thinking of like you like white boots but you're not sure if you want to like take the plunge they're even cheaper than most high street stores so it's a great way and they usually have offers on so if they have then I'll link those in the description as well um, these are just a really simple white boot with a white heel um, and a point and then they've just got like the sit fastening there. I'm a size 8 and I've got a size 8 and they fit me perfectly. So I totally recommend. If you like the boot but you don't like white um, then I don't know why you're watching this video. But they also do them in red and black and like paint in as well. So basically there's a boot for every occasion. So because it's a new item in my wardrobe and I was like figuring out how to style them, I thought rather than doing like different occasions and things, I'd pick a few different ways. Some of them are ways that I personally wouldn't wear but I've seen other people wear them and I wanted to try out the look because I thought it was really cool. Um, maybe I will wear them after this video, who knows. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I've just i like already filmed it so I'm just going to like talk you through and put them like over the screen and stuff so you can see what I'm talking about. So the first way I styled them was with my vinyl trousers which I'm absolutely obsessed with and literally cannot stop wearing them you guys probably would have noticed haven't worn them actually in the last week well I have for like pictures and stuff but outside the house I've been sticking to denim because it's so bitter cold maybe I need to get myself some thermals to stick underneath my vinyl trousers but they look so cool with vinyl trousers like tucked in or just so there's like a little bit of skin um, and then I wore them with my ASOS checked coat which I adore and it's actually so warm it's like a wool coat so it's like a really nice smart coat but still um, really like cool because it's got the checks and very on trend and then I also wore my new jumper which hasn't featured in the haul because I literally got it today the day that I'm filming and it is from other stories and it's like a really chunky cream oversized knit and I did size up in this so I could wear it off shoulder um, but I love the sleeve detail and I just any excuse to get another cream knit and I'm there. So this is probably one of my favourite ways to wear them even though it's the first <laughs> and I will probably be wearing them like this 100% like not probably definitely. So the next way I had to show you with my old faithful denim jeans um, but I thought I'd mix it up and put my new jeans with them because they're super cropped and I know these have got like a higher point to where they come to and these ones have got like white stripes on so I thought we'd tie in and they're really cool and it worked perfectly um, I think they look like they're a match made in heaven and then I wore them with my cute crop jumper which again was in my latest haul um, my Gucci bag which I adore and quite frankly hasn't been getting enough airtime because my Chanel's like stolen my heart recently 
um, and then my MAC coat, which I saw someone wearing at Fashion Week and I thought it looked so cool. And I've had this MAC coat for a couple of years and I haven't really worn it for like the last year, but she kind of reminded me that it's a really cool piece and that I need to get it out more often. So definitely going to be getting that out more often and I really like this look. I think it's just like a really simple laid back look. You could switch out the jumper for a chunkier knit or a different coloured knit if you wanted to add a pop of colour or you could put like a slogan tee or just like a simple tee if you're a bit warmer. Um, so I think there's loads of different ways to wear this kind of style outfit and I really like that. I think it's like the safest look. So another way that I figured you could wear them was with a skirt and I've just picked a denim skirt. This is my new one from Levi's which is new but not new. Like I've had it for a while but this I haven't really had a chance to wear it because it's been winter. Um, but I wore it with my denim skirt and another new top which is this top that I'm actually wearing in this video now um, and I got it from other stories again. This is like just come through the post with the other one that I wore in my first outfit um, and I love them so much. For the boots, I have seen um, a couple of people wear the boots with socks and it's really cool. So the first person I saw was Ain Song and she wore them with fishnet socks. She wore the fishnet socks over the top and it looked so cool. I don't think I'm cool enough to wear it like that. And I don't know if the socks actually came with the boots or if it's separate, but it's definitely like a DIY look. You could totally do yourself, get some like three pound socks off eBay, just cut a hole in the heel and away you go. Or it would look really cool with the fishnet socks underneath just like peeking out and you could do this with any colour to like add a pop. I went for classic black because it's got the black on the sole. I thought it would look quite cool with a little black popping out and I actually really like this look. I think it looks really cute. Um, and then I added my Chloe bag which again hasn't been having enough airtime, but I love the burgundy and I thought it looked really nice with the pink of the jumper. Um, and then my like patchwork fur coat which I just adore and this one's from New Looks, it's super affordable. Might be sold out but I have seen alternatives so anything that I wear I'll link below the items and the sizes and if they're sold out I'll find alternatives, if they're expensive I'll find like more affordable alternatives so don't worry I've got you covered. So I know that it's like snowing outside and I said that but I wanted to also show you like how you can wear it going forward to spring because it is kind of like a transseasonal um, trend but also I think it will carry through to summer because I think white boots are so perfect for summer. Actually I've seen, I know like I'm talking about these white boots but there's a couple of pairs that I've seen that look really cool like a pair of white cowboy boots. So cool for summer, so like Coachella vibe um, and also I think um, the white Balenciaga boots are amazing. I still don't know whether to get those or not. I'm literally like, they're pulling at my heartstrings. Um, but yeah, I think they look really cool for someone with bare legs. But I wore these with a dress that I got from Urban Outfitters at Fashion Week. Remember in my unboxing, I was talking about, not my unboxing, yeah, my unboxing. Um, I was talking about how I was going to um, like go in there and buy all my outfits for Fashion Week. And then I saw the spring stuff and got totally carried away. So I thought this was a perfect opportunity to show you how you can wear this in spring summer. So I popped on my spring summer dress and then I tried to make it more relevant with a chunky knit, but honestly, I just love this dress and I can't wait to wear it. So I just need the snow to like melt away now. Like I've had my fun with it and now I need it to go. Um, but yeah, this looks really cute. Again, I didn't do the socks with this time and I just think this is a really nice look to be honest. I think definitely I love boots and dresses and I think the white boots makes it more kind of like spring summer appropriate than like the black boots. Not that I don't have black boots with it too, but it's just a different look. So this next one is a trend that I really love and um, I really want to try but I just feel like it's so far out of my comfort zone because like when it comes to bottom half I'm more of like a jeans or mini skirt kind of girl. I've just got into like vinyl trousers I really love, leather trousers I really love, skinny trousers like I'm all there but then recently I've really loved these trousers which are actually in the next look and um, which are like track pants and they're really cool and I'm like totally into those now but... This is like a long skirt slash dress and I really love it. I've seen so many people wearing it and I really want to rock this trend but I just have no idea how to like make it me. So I'm still kind of like figuring it out but I thought I'd style it up just to show you if it's like your cup of tea or if it's something you might want to try. So I thought I'd try it anyway because I thought I've seen loads of people wearing it. It's definitely another way that you could wear the boots. So I wore them with this long dress that I just got sent from other stories as an actually as a like a surprise gift. And I'll definitely wear this dress, but more probably with like supergas or sandals, not with boots, but it does look really cool. So maybe in the future I will. Um, and then I wore it with like a chunky jumper because I've seen that all over Fashion Week. It looks so cool. Um, and then my Chanel bag and the dress is actually 
like a yellow and cream and it's really pretty and summery and I just really love this look actually so who knows you might see me wearing this more um, and I've also seen people wear this with like you could just wear like a longer skirt or like a tiered skirt um, anything really so yeah definitely one to try and then the last but not least is probably one of my favourites is actually what I'm wearing now because I just finished filming those bits. Um, so the track pants that I talked to you about previously, I wore them in my lookbook for London Fashion Week, which I'll link here. Um, I wore them then and literally just fell in love with them. Um, and I actually wore them with a similar pair of boots, but they were my sisters and two sizes too small. So I didn't actually show it in the lookbook because as soon as I got home, I tore them off. So I didn't get a chance to film. But it looks really cool with the boots, like, underneath the trousers. So you could do this with jeans too, if you had, like, flared jeans, I think that would look really cool too. I don't have any, but with these track pants, it just looks really cool, just with the ends, like, poking out. Um, and then I wore it with my crop jumper, this jumper here, um, and then a grey scarf, which is just, like, an old one from Monkey, I think, but I'll find one similar. Um, and then my Chanel bag, because it just goes with everything. Um, but I really like this look. I think it's a really cool, like, laid-back look. But if you want to seem a bit, like, classy. I don't know. It looks very polished. Polished? It looks very polished and chic without being too, like, uptight. I don't know. I really like it, though. It's definitely something I'd wear. Um, and I'm just, like, loving wearing trousers that aren't jeans. I feel like now that I can explore and, like, play around with bottom halves as well and I've, like, stepped outside of my comfort zone, my wardrobe is endless, whereas before it was just, like, I messed around with, like, different tops and skirts and stuff, but never trousers. So, yeah, I feel like my options are way less limited now um, and I'm proud of myself for stepping out of my comfort zone. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you liked it. I hope that I've inspired you to purchase a pair of white boots or if you've got white boots if I've given you some inspiration on how to wear them. And um, make sure you go and check out my blog post too because I will be showing you like loads of different styles that I'm loving and loads of inspiration on how other people have been wearing them at like fashion week and like on my favourite Instagrams and stuff. So just go check that out too um, if you want more inspiration and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time.